Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how bad the scalping for MTG times Marvel really is. So on Facebook, it's only been like one day on Facebook people are advertising that they have the product. They have a pre-order the product and they obviously want to sell it for a little bit more money. And you might think, oh, well, that's not a problem. That's just scalping. Well, the people scalping is, so this is an example of a person scalping. And you wouldn't believe it. I think this is like a mom, like a home mom or something like that. Because you can look at the other items this individual is selling. Now, this is a high seller and so on and so forth. But uh, this individual is not really selling too much Magic the Gathering. So what is this individual selling, you might be asking. Well, uh, let's take a look. Mostly kid toys. It looks like she has a toddler and she wants to sell some of the clothing off. And the prices, you know, I have a kid now. The prices are reasonable, I, I would say. But uh, man, that's crazy, isn't it? Um, what she is selling is also Magic the Gathering uh, and, and specifically the Marvel thing. And I look at this and I say, wow, uh, that's definitely unique, right? This is definitely an item that you wouldn't expect this particular seller to have. And again, it is a pre-order type of sale, right? So, very fascinating. Something, again, you don't see every day. And, and you know, you don't really see that many home moms reselling Magic the Gathering cards for profit. So yeah, here's what she's selling now. She has double masters. It's been slightly reduced in price. Double masters is nothing. Quadruple masters is on the way. Then you sell like see all this other stuff, which is like obviously kid oriented, and you're just like, this is not the typical seller that would be confirmed. You can see how she has confirmed in big words, trying to flip this product. And when you have people who aren't magic players, I mean, could 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 she be a magic player? Maybe, but I don't think so. You know, I, I just don't really believe it. Uh, maybe I will believe it when I see it, but I don't believe C is a Magic the Gathering player. And yet, C is flipping this, which tells you that there is, of course, money to be made. And why not? I mean, why not? There is money to be made. And without... Uh, too much issue. She's trying to sell these other items. You can see like how expensive the magic items are compared to the other items. Now, the rev laser hair, I don't, I don't know what that is. But a lot of the other items are really, really cheap, right? So she's trying to make, basically break even or something. She's taking a loss on the majority of these items there, used items. Yeah. That is very, very strange, uh, in my particular opinion. Uh, it is, you know, when you have people, and the same with sneakers, magic cards, Pokemon cards. You know, we saw that, the video with, uh, on this channel of the people in Costco. And when, when you have, like, normal people behaving this way, it's time to get the mother effing time. It's time to get out. It's time to get out. When, like, a stay-at-home mom who's selling toddler shoes is... Is also selling Magic the Gathering pre-orders. And that's what they're selling, right? They're selling a pre-order. They're trying to flip it for some money. Um, if you really needed money that badly, you wouldn't, you know, order it. You would just simply not order it and then you would save the money, right? And this is not an easy pre-order to get. So she must have woke up really early, done a... I don't know, man. I mean, it is a fascinating thing, in my opinion. So let me know in the comments below. Are you seeing more and more of these resellers and these scalpers? I, I, yeah, these scalpers, they scalp everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Pokemon cards, magic sets. I'm just concerned that like this is a stay-at-home mom, probably, from what I can see. And this individual has decided that scalping magic gathering cards as well as selling what seems to be used children toys is the way to do it. I mean, you look at these other, one item is, or I guess two items are so different from the other items and how they're priced, how they are 
sold and you know and what they're selling and and it's just so weird right to have like i said okay maybe you you got stuck with a box something happened i get that you sell it but this person is doing a pre-order a pre-order so technically speaking they didn't need to buy it their only reason that they're flip they're they're, they're a flipper they're a scalper and none of these other items they're trying to scalp but for mtg marvel they're trying to scalp Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.